Bill, let me uh, let me go to uh, Crenshaw. Dan Crenshaw blasted by um, the Young Turks, which is you know <laughs> amazing. Uh, this guy is you know I mean you know when you're when you're in a tank top in your mom's basement, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't care. It's a good look. Yeah, you didn't like that look. look? No, I mean, I, I, no. Uh-uh. Huh, so, all right. you know, he's on the Young Turks, <laughs> and uh, and he blasts Crenshaw, and he's just foul and everything else. Yeah, yeah. and uh, it shows where our culture <laughs> has gone. What are your thoughts on on all of this? Well, I mentioned uh, a few minutes ago that the, the the overriding issue and story in America today is that we can't get the truth. I mean, just it's so much fog and noise. And, and I, I am getting to the point where, you know, you asked me about Patrick. I didn't really know that much about it because I didn't watch, I don't watch the cable news anymore. I don't learn anything from it. I yeah, should have picked I don't it either. up. No, I don't, I don't either. I should have picked it up because yeah. I usually do a review in the morning and I did mm-hmm. this morning. Yeah. But I was concentrating on the, on the Trump fatigue factor, which I think is going to emerge as a major story soon. Let's talk about that. Um, but not now. But, yeah. but, you know, look, Young Turks. Okay, so this is, remember SCTV Mellonville? Yes. Remember that? <laughs> yes. One of the most hysterical satires in the history of, of America. And there's a bunch of Canadians put it on, Flaherty and all mm-hmm. those madmen mm-hmm. up there. That's what this is. This is Mellonville. Well, actually, okay? I mean, if you look at Young Turks, uh, I mean, it had a $20 million capital infusement from, I think, Katzenberg was involved in that, but we should look. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and Soros, I'm sure, is, is putting money in there. And hang on just a second. And it is one of the co-founders that started, what is that? Uh, Demo- Justice Democrats. Yeah, Justice Democrats, which is mm-hmm. responsible for the AOC mob. Yeah. And I'm not saying that that doesn't do damage. It does. And all of these things do damage. Center for American Progress is the real, real, now vile, vile. Um, this, these are the people who tried to get Ross's name at the University of Michigan off the buildings mm-hmm. after he gave the college $400 million. And this is a Soros uh, agency. So, yes, these people are out there. They're, it's subterfuge. You don't know who's financing them. For CNN to give them a platform or where the Young Turks or wherever they appear, whoever's giving them platforms, grossly irresponsible. I mean, I did this for more than 20 years on Fox News. I never put on anyone that was irresponsible. We vetted everybody. Okay. And, and yeah, I could have put loons on and then just yelled and mocked them like Morton Downey Jr. did. It's easy. But what we have now is we have the Tower of, De- of Babel and we have just a, a throw anybody on. They're going to say anything. So if you lose your eye in Iraq, then they're going to mock that. That's what this guy did. All right. On Crenshaw. And, and Americans, they just walk around where you would have been stoned to death 20 years ago. Oh, yeah. You couldn't have done that. Now you can do anything. There are no standards of behavior. So I think, uh, that, I think that the average person is just so sick of it, it just goes by their radar. Um, but the media uh, talks about it, and Google and YouTube just dismiss it. I mean, what, they're, what they're fine, they're fine with is, making money off of these guys. What but, is incomprehensible is there isn't any growth in the cable news and hasn't been for three, four years. Mm-hmm. Without Donald Trump, that props it up, okay? So to take Trump out of the mix, you have nothing. I mean, CNN doesn't have one program doing more than a million viewers for 24-hour cycle. So you take him out of the mix, then who are they going to hate then? All right. And then they're going to have 500,000, 400,000. And so these corporations have got to, new, got to know they don't have any growth at all anywhere. Not, nothing. But yet they do the same thing every single day because they don't know what else to do. All right. And they're so untalented, so uncreative. They have to do the same thing, say the same thing, same people. It's unbelievable. And again, Trump drives 90% of cable news coverage, 75% of network news coverage is Trump. And when Trump leaves, whether it's 2020 or four year, more years, he's going to start Trump TV. He's already lining up investors to do mm-hmm. that. Okay. What, boy, if I were Fox News, where 95% of the viewers support Donald Trump, 95%, and you have Trump TV? <laughs> 
Oh boy. So anyway, um, it, it is, it is a madhouse. And I, I use that word literally. And if people are on there, they're going to hear and see so much irresponsible, deceitful stuff that uh, my advice is just walk away, walk away, get out of it. And that doesn't mean they're all bad. They're not all bad. There are some good people. Um, but they're getting fewer and fewer.